In this video, we're going to complete example one. Now, this is what's known as a radial survey. What happens is a surveyor comes out and takes some measurements on a block of land, and then they use these measurements to calculate the area of the block of land. Now, in this example, we're going to calculate the area correct to one decimal place. You'll notice it's split into three triangles. So we're going to use this formula up above, which finds the area of a triangle, and we're going to have to use it three times. Now, some people struggle with this. To help those people, I've basically taken the three triangles and I've split them into three. All right, now I'm going to label them because I, I rubbed some of the labels off this. This side was 92 meters, which means that this side must also be 92 meters because they're usually joined together. We can see that this side is 85 meters, which means that this side here must also be 85 meters. And this side must be 90 meters since it joins to the side across from it. When you find the area of triangles, you need to have two sides and an included angle, which is great. It's what we've got in all three triangles. Remembering that the included angle is the angle between the two sides. All three triangles have an included angle. Let's just, just to help with the labeling, let's call these triangles one, two, and three. Now, when we find the area of triangle one, I'm going to refer to this as A1. Going back to my formula, I had two lowercase letters a and b. That represents my two sides. And then finally, I had a capital C, which represented my angle. So when I work this out, I'm going to follow the order of the formula. It starts with a half, and then it multiplies this by the two sides. So if I'm looking at triangle 1, my two sides are 92 and 85 really doesn't matter which order I multiply these two numbers. And then I multiply this by sine of C. C being my angle, which for triangle 1 is a 100 degree angle. So we can work this out, bringing up our calculator. We've got half. Now, I cheat. I write half as 0 0.5. Times this by 92. Times this by 85. And times this by sine of 100 making sure it says degrees at the top. And I get 3850.598. So I'm, I'm not at my final solution yet. They want it to one decimal place. So for now, I'm just going to round this to three decimal places. 3850.598. And this is in metres, and it's an approximation so I'll put approximately equals to, equal to. Uh, let's do the area of triangle 2. We follow the same process. It's half multiplied by the two sides. So triangle 2 has sides of 92 and 90. And then we multiply this by sine of the angle. For triangle 2, it's an angle of 135 degrees. Bringing up my calculator, I get 0 0.5 instead of half times 92 times 90 times sine of 135 equals, and this time I get 2,927, 2,927 is approximately equal to that, uh, 0.422, we'll write 0.422 meters. All right, let's do the area of triangle three, same process, half multiplied by the two sides of 85 and 90 and multiply this by sine of my angle 125 degrees. Bringing up our calculator, we're going to give an approximate answer to this. 0 0.5 times 85 times 90 times sine of 125 equals and we get 3133. 3,133 point, uh, we'll do 257, 0.257 meters. Excellent. So I've got my three areas of my three triangles. It wants the area of the whole block of land. So I need to add these up. When I do this, I usually do A with the 
a T below it, standing for total area. Okay, so I'll add these up. I've got 3850.598, don't have a lot of room, uh, plus 2927.422, plus 3133.257. I'm going to add all of these up. Because my final answer is rounded to one decimal place, I put all of these to three decimal places. You, you probably want to have them to more decimal places than your final answer. That just helps so you don't throw off that final solution. 3850.598 plus 2927.422. Uh, plus 3133.257 equals and we get 9911 if we do it to one decimal place it would be 0.3 so this is 9911.3 um, and this really should be meters squared I just realized I've been saying meters but I should be saying meters squared this is area Anyway, that concludes our video on example one. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.